Cables and knitting go hand in hand. I wanna show you how to make one today and an easy way to remember how to make it lean to the right or lean to the left. I'm specifically working over eight stitches in this video, but you can work it over um, four stitches or uh, six stitches if you wanna make a two over two, a three over three, or like this one, a four over four right cable or right cross cable. So stay tuned and we'll make that today here on Good Knit Kisses. Welcome to Good Knit Kisses. We're all about helping you stitch your love and love your stitches. In this tutorial, I am ready to start my cable and I've got my cable needle, so you're gonna need a cable needle. I do wanna talk about this one in particular. I have other cable needles, but I really, really like this one because the J on it allows me to pick up my stitches with the short end and then when I'm ready and after I've held it in the back, um, I can actually work from this needle side and use it kind of like one of my other needles. So it's like a second hand for me. It's so much easier to knit from. I like that it's a little bit more bulky. So I suggest getting this J-shaped hook if you've got one for your cable needle. Go ahead and grab your supplies and we'll be right back to show you how to make it. All right, so I am ready to begin mine, getting right up to where my stitch is. I'm on this linen stitch, so let me just finish that repeat. All right, so I'm ready. I'm gonna move my stitch marker over and we're gonna be working a four over four right cable. So I'm gonna be picking up the first four stitches and holding them um, away from my work so that I can work the next four stitches. Now, where I hold the stitches, um, either in the front of the work or in the back of the work, is going to determine the way that my, um, my cable is angled, okay? So first of all, we're gonna pick up our cable needle. I'm going to use my J-shaped uh, cable needle and pick up the first four stitches with the short end of the hook. So I'm gonna pick up one, two, three, and four. And then if I want to have a left cable where it's going to the left, I'm going to um, let it hang out in front. Now, if you're on my left-handed video, this is going to be reversed and flipped, um, but this is what it would look like um, if you're a right-handed uh, knitter. Um, so if you are doing the opposite um, and you're following someone's pattern, it says right cross cable, you can do this and it will just flip the opposite way for, for you. Um, so if you're doing left, you're just gonna hang them out front. And I think about this, um, this is left out to the wind. It's outside of my work here, okay? So I wanna do a right cross cable for this one. This is going in the other direction. So I'm just going to be right back. <laughs> so I'm putting this in the back and I'm leaving it alone and I'll be right back to those stitches. Haha, <laughs> do you get it? So <laughs> it goes in the back, it hangs there, and then I'm going to knit my next four stitches or however many stitches you have for your cable. So I'm gonna knit one, two, three, and four. Now I make sure that when I'm knitting these, I maintain my tension. You can make sure that you um, get that first stitch nice and tight. You don't want it um, super loose because you want the consistency of your um, last stitch and your very next stitch to maintain the same distance as you've done on all these other stitches. So now we're ready to place back on our needle the, um, the stitches that were left alone. You can take them and place them right back on your needle, but I actually just like to um, hold my other needle down and start working from the cable needle. So I'm gonna get my yarn out of the way. I'm gonna slide my cable needle up to that tip, okay? And we're just gonna start working with the first stitch. The first stitch is um, the one that I had originally loaded as the very first stitch, and so these are set up in the right order, okay? So that's the very first stitch, and it's ready to go. So now I'm just gonna start working that stitch and knit as usual. I'm gonna knit all of these stitches, unless your pattern calls for these to be purled or something different. This is what you're gonna do. I have one more. All right, I've done all four. It's tighter, but I've maintained my stitches how I normally do. And now I'm just gonna continue on with my knitting. So I've got my next stitch. Make sure and keep 
keep my work consistent and continue on with my stitch pattern. In this case, I'm working a linen stitch, so you see me working it. But there it is. It's going to be a little bit tight, and then the next time I come back to my round, it's going to um, get a little bit looser, and then you're going to be knitting your repeat to get that length that's needed to make these um, these cables stand out and get a little bit longer. So you just keep on going. I hope that's helped you today. Now, mine looks a little bit short because, well, I wasn't ready for an actual cable, but I just wanted you to see where it was because on my hat, in reality, I have a, a shaping of the crown that I need to do now. So I'm actually finished with this one. So I'm actually gonna take this off. But if you do want more information on how to finish out a hat, um, be sure and go click down in the description below to get more information on shaping the top of your hat. I hope that's helped you today. Have a great day and happy knitting. Bye everyone. Thanks for joining us today where we help you stitch your love and love your stitches. See you again soon.